image streaming is a method of bringing to consciousness the subconscious power and to utilize the creativity, the problem solving capacity, and the insight uh, that our deep minds possess. It also is a tool for helping us to enhance our awareness of our representational systems, and it's a tremendous tool to help us in uh, practicing and increasing our visual acuity. And the image streaming technique that I'm going to share with you really is a, a, a fairly simple and basic process that can help us to gain guidance from that, that intuitive part of the mind that's deep within us. Remember, one of the presuppositions of neurolinguistic programming is that we actually have inside of us already the tools necessary to find our solutions and to experience success and to act in ways that are truly meaningful in a positive way. Now, the image streaming exercises were originally developed by a, a guy named Win Wenger, who's been associated with uh, Mensa, among other organizations. Uh, this is an adaptation of uh, some of the work that he's written about. Um, and this is how I use image streaming, both in my own life and with clients as well. A lot of people will tell you image streaming should be done with a partner. I like to do it alone. I like to put the headsets on and go to the computer and uh, you know use uh, Audacity and actually record myself. By the way, a great free program for recording yourself on the internet. You can use this to make you know recordings of lectures or hypnosis CDs. Uh, it's Audacity. It's a free download. Uh, but you can take the headphones, plug it in, and 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 I like to do this. Uh, it's great to get feedback from another person, but sometimes we can get lost in a tangent, and just going through the process uh, can be extremely helpful. So if no partner is available, you can simply record it on the computer and listen back to it. So the first step, and I'm going to outline the various steps in image streaming, is to ask yourself a question, um, specifically about a solution. Uh, for example, let's say I'm trying to decide which of several choices to make in regards to a long-term career change or a long-term relationship or a, a strategy for uh, changing behavior. Uh, I, I would begin by asking myself a question. Now, I'm going to ask myself this simple question. Um, what is going to be the most effective way to, Richard, to control your uh, food intake and to increase your activity level. Remember I said I just had surgery and we're trying to get f healthy and fit again and lose a few pounds. So that might be the question I ask myself. Step two then is to close your eyes, to relax, to put yourself in that state of deep relaxation that we practiced at the beginning of this DVD and to simply let the mind relax, shut the door, turn off the phone for a few minutes and step two is all about simply being comfortable. And now in step three, you're going to focus on the inner mind where creativity and insight and awareness lies. And in step four, you're going to describe the images that you see inside of that creative, intuitive, insightful, and aware part of the mind. It's amazing how that part of the mind where awareness is created is something we only become aware of when we ask ourselves to focus on that. And so I want people in step four to describe the images they see using that microphone, using that headset, or talking to another person, and give their first impression and describe it in detail. Well, I see myself in a long and and uh, and, and tiring road. It, it seems to be it seems to have no end, and the road isn't one I can travel on very quickly. I mean, it, different people have different visual images and describe it in detail. The, the yellow lines are faded, and the side of the road is filled with rock. And as you begin to focus on this visual imagery, describing it to yourself or describing it to your friend, note the emergence of any new details. And as I go further down the road, the road becomes... Uh, uh, filled with cracks, and those cracks become wider. And if the image changes at all, describe those changes. Now, step five is to uh, 
is, is to look at future awareness, to ask, why is this here? What does it mean? Why are, why, why are the cracks in the road? What do those cracks mean? And step six, then, is to see if the image changes when I ask those awareness questions. And then to describe this change in the image and to repeat this with each change in the image. So what I might actually have are uh, four or five or six or seven different images that I've described, either on computer or to another person. Because every time I ask myself, you know, why is this image here? You know, what does it mean? Um, uh, I'm, you know, I'm going to focus on one thing, uh, and, and if it changes in any way, I'm going to go back and describe that change and repeat it several times. What happens is I essentially have image streaming, four, five, six, seven different images that have come to mind after step one, I've asked myself the question, step two, I've relaxed, step three, I've focused on the inner mind where awareness is created, and step four, begun to describe in detail the images that I see. And when I have multiple images, I can then move on to step seven. And step seven is all about inductive interference. In step seven, I'm essentially thanking the mind, that creative and attuned and aware and responsive part of the mind for the image that is given me. And in step eight, what I do is I recognize the commonalities in all of those images. Let's say I had an image of that road, and then I had another image in my house, and another image of you know, car shopping when I was 16, a recalled image, and another image of me as an old person in, in the future. I mean, whatever these images are, take a minute in step eight to recognize the commonalities in the stream. These commonalities are one of two things. They're either the blocks that have kept us from success, or they're the answers to the question. So step eight is about recognizing the commonalities in all these visual images and seeing that in this image stream, these commonalities are either the blocks or the answers. Step nine of the um, image streaming process is to integrate these answers and awarenesses then into a specific answer to the problem, to generate insight about the problem that we've experienced and to integrate, you know, the, the, those commonalities and those answers into the problem. And then step 10 is uh, to debrief. And the way to debrief is to summarize all these experiences to another person or to yourself. Um, and, and this whole process of image streaming takes about 10 to 15 minutes. Maybe a person might spend up to 20 minutes in it. Uh, but a person who practices this each and every day, uh, or even just a couple times a week, will find that it produces a remarkable change in their awareness in their problem-solving capability, and in their ability to intuitively handle situations that previously used to baffle them.